Welcome to my review of Cinderella. Cinderella is directed by Kenneth Branagh. It stars Lily James, Kate Blanchett, Richard Madden, and a bunch of other very talented actors and actresses. Now the premise of this movie follows the story of Ella, who is played by Lily James. Her father ends up passing away while he's on a trip to France and because of this she ends up getting stuck with her stepmother is played by Kate Blanchett and she is absolutely mean to her. Her stepsisters are mean to her. They treat her like a slave. If you've seen one Cinderella movie you get an idea of what this movie is about from beginning, middle and end. Now I went into this movie not expecting a groundbreaking Cinderella told story because I feel like there's not much you really can do to a Cinderella movie without completely changing it to make it completely different. And I feel like this movie was going to be really close to the animated movie when it came to tone. At least I was hoping it would. And I have to say that overall it got that tone right. Which was what I was hoping for. I wanted it to be like the animated movie when it came to tone and just the colorfulness and just you know the overall characters. I wanted Cinderella to have pet mice and for her to talk to animals like I wanted to see that and this movie had those elements in it it had a lot of moments in it that reminded me of the animated movie but if I had a complaint to have with this film when it comes to the animated movie to this live action film is the fact that it didn't have the music from the original animated movie. I wasn't expecting this movie to be an all-out musical or anything like that, like every five minutes there will break out in music. I was just hoping for them to have maybe one or two scenes where, you know, they sing at least one or two songs from the animated movie. Like I wanted to get that nostalgic feeling while watching the film that reminded me of the animated film. But unfortunately this movie didn't have any of those moments. They didn't have any of those musical moments. And I don't recall hearing any music from the original film in this movie which was kind of a downer for me because I was kind of hoping for at least one or two scenes like that and I got nothing. Lily James and Kate Blanchett were just absolutely wonderful in their roles. I loved Lily James. I've never seen her in anything that I can recall and I loved her portrayal of Cinderella because the movie's theme was basically that Cinderella was kind and brave regardless of anything that happened in her life, whatever situation she was in, good or bad, she will always be kind and brave because that was something that was instilled into her by her mother. And Lily James plays this character so well of almost this very naive girl, very innocent, but she's so kind and she plays this role so good that you sympathize with this character. Like you really do sympathize with the situation she's in and how mistreated she is by Kate Blanchett's character, the stepmother. And Kate Blanchett, oh my god, she does such a good job as the stepmother. I feel like if Lily James and Kate Blanchett weren't in these roles and some other actors were in this role, I wouldn't have enjoyed this movie as much as I did because I feel like those two really made this film for me personally. And I have to say that even though Disney did try to change up the story a little bit with Cinderella by, you know, sprinkling different elements here and there to the story, at the end of the day it was another Cinderella story. But it's definitely one of the better Cinderella movies. I feel like this movie is one of those movies if a child or even an adult is being introduced to Cinderella, the story, for the first time, they're going to be in awe with this overall film because visually, again, it's stunning, it's colorful, and the acting is really great. The only downside, again, is the music. Oh, man, I just wanted that music. But overall, I feel like anybody who has never been introduced to Cinderella, like, this is one of the good movies. Like, this is one of those movies that you're like, you want to know the Cinderella story? Watch this one. If not, go for the classic animated movie or Drew Barrymore's Ever After. I really like that movie. That's one of those Cinderella movies that's like underrated. I, I don't know, personally I love that movie. So yeah, those are the three Cinderella movies that I'll be like, hey, you don't know the Cinderella story? Here. And then again, you can always go with the Brother Grimm story, which is really dark and gritty and kind of gross. So you can always go with that one. But overall, I definitely recommend this movie to anybody who had any remote interest in seeing it. If you love Disney movies, go check it out. It's just, just overall want to see a movie that is visually stunning, colorful, uplifting, has a good message to it, has great acting, check this movie out because I think this is one of the better 
Disney live action movies that we've seen for a while. I mean, this is one of them, this is up there. For me personally, I think this is one of the better ones. So that is my review of Cinderella. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Focus is directed by Glenn Ficarra, John Rekua, and it stars Will Smith, Margot Robbie, and a bunch of other very talented actors and actresses. Now the premise of this movie follows the story of Nikki, who is played by Will Smith. He is a con artist. He knows all the tricks of the trade. He then runs into Jess, who is played by Margot Robbie, in a very unconventional way. She's basically trying to con him out of money. He becomes interested in her because he 